name is Juan Roberto Melendez Colón, the number 99 person in the nation to be released and incinerated from their role after spending 17 years, 8 months, and 1 day in front of the death row for a crime I did not commit. I was, uh, in 1984, I was uh, convicted and sentenced to death for a crime I did not commit. My case uh, was based on the testimony of two questionable witnesses, no physical evidence against me. Trial started on a Monday, Tuesday. Uh, Monday and Tuesday, we picked in the jury. Wednesday, the evidence co come in. All they had against me was the two questionable witness. One say that I confessed the crime to him. He implicates a friend of mine. He gets arrested. Uh, he uh, gets interrogated. He makes 15 statements. He incriminates himself in the crime. He gets charged with a first degree murder and robbery in the treatment with the electric chair. He decided to make a deal with the, with the state and testify against me. He gets a first degree murder charge. And I'm Robert Shaw drop all the way to accessory facts. He gets two years probation with two years he already had. Thursday, they found me guilty. Friday, the same week, they sent me to death. And the judge complained that it was taking too long. Life for me now is very interesting. I get to go to a lot of places. I've been been numerous times in, in the continent of Europe, which I like a lot. I've been numerous times in Canada, and I've been in about in every state in the United States, share my story and try to get the death penalty abolished. But, uh, but one of the worst things to me that happened, that I, the worst thing to me in death row was when, when they execute someone. See, I'm in this cell next to me, it's another person that's sentenced to death, that's like me. I know him for 10 or 15 years. He cries in my shoulders. I cry in his. He shared with me the most deeper thoughts. I, I share mine with him. I learned to grow to love him. And one day they, they snatch him out of that cell. I know what's going to happen. They're going to kill him. And my time is the electric chair. And they got to generate the chair with electricity. And I still can hear this bossy sound. Mm, mm, mm. That stay in my mind. I cannot stop it. And I know precisely the time when they burned the life out of him because it's 200, uh, uh, the lights go on and off, and I still can stop it. It affected my family very, uh, very, very, uh, very painful. My family, so I suffer a lot, but I think my my uh, my mama and my fight ain't suffer more than anybody. I remember a letter that my mama wrote me one day, and she say, uh, in the letter she say, "Son, I just build an altar, and in that altar, I put the statue of the Virgin of the Guadalupe in it, and I call roses, and I and I put it in it, and I pray three rosaries a day, sinking, searching for a miracle, and that miracle will come soon because one." Because I know you're innocent, God knows that you're innocent, but you have to put all your faith in God, and, and one day He will send you free. And it took 17 years, eight months, and one day for the miracle to come true. But it was 17 years, 17 years, eight months, and one day that my mama was also on her knees, searching, looking for this miracle. And this I found out about three or four days after I've been out. I went to my mama's room and. And I noticed that tear was dro dropping down her cheeks, and I said, Mama, what's wrong? She said that in, sp in spite of all that faith that I had in God and, and the vision of the Guadalupe, all them years I was saving money to bring your dead body back to the island of Puerto Rico in Florida would execute you. And no mother in this world should go to that pain.